right here is chicken feed my guy look at that hello my people hello my darlings welcome and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video so before we start this vlog as always i want to show you my outfit for today so i'm wearing this maroon dress that i got from a friend of mine from her boutique as you can see it's an old dress and it's really getting too tight this is a sign that i'm really really putting on some weight so i'm wearing this with my boots because you know the floors are wet and I don't want to step on water so let us get straight into the so yes we're back again with another vlog guys I just knocked off from work as you can see my face looks tired my body is tired however I want to take you somewhere I'm going to do my nails you know I'm going to do my nails in Katotura Vendok so I'd like you to drive with me I don't know I, I booked for six o'clock but the lady um, or the girl that's going to do my nails uh, texted me and told me that um, she's free now so I should go uh, it's gonna be a long drive and it's almost rush hour so the road might be busy but hopefully I get there like you know before five or at least exactly at five o'clock so drive with me let's go here we go here we go again trying hard but you want to be my friend ain't no place to hide ain't no one to run to here we go here we go again call my bluff i'm gonna be your two it's almost rush hour so as you can see there are people by the road um, I'm not sure if you saw that but you'd see that there are people by the road so that means that people are basically getting their cabs everybody that works this side of town they are getting their cabs you know to go back home um, rush hour hasn't exactly started there's like 20 minutes but I am 100% sure that I'll be stuck in traffic by the time I'm gonna get to Katutura I'm sure I'll be very much stuck in traffic especially the side where I'm going this side they are not really a lot of people you know that use this road like coming from work is okay but um coming back oh my gosh or, or going that side of of the suburbs and all that look at those buses guys um it's a bus service you know city of winduk i think they transport people at a better price compared to taxis and all that so yeah Oh, look at this. I, I really hope I'm not gonna get stuck in, in the end, I'm the one you ride. This, this road where I am at right now. This is like the busiest road. It is the busiest road, and I know I'm gonna be stuck here like for I'm gonna be stuck here. I'm telling you. Look at that house, guys. Very simple but beautiful. Don't you just love it? Komazal Medical Center, that one right there, that's my hospital. So this is the hospital that I usually come to. This is actually my hood, but then our house is on the other side. So that is the hospital where I usually come to. There's a hospital and then there's a pharmacy as well, as you can see. So yeah, it's a private hospital, you know. So private hospitals in my country are a bit pricey if you do not have a medical aid card you know uh, there are different kinds of medical aid scheme that we have here um in namibia you, you pay a certain amount but you go to to a private hospital and you don't have to pay a lot you just pay for the medicine like in the pharmacy or you just pay for opening a file if it's your first time at that private hospital or you can also pay for um consultation yeah consultation fees usually i pay 25 dollars and then the medicine depending on the prescribed medicine i might pay about um 300 namibian dollars you know that's the maximum i have paid 
from as little as a hundred dollars to three hundred million dollars so yeah and then private patients if you don't have a medical aid scheme it might be really pricey for you but last time when I checked like my one of my sisters um, paid like she's a private patient you know she paid like around she spent more than like uh, 600 Namibian dollars it was close to 1,000 basically not even just 600 it was close to 1,000 Namibian dollars guys I'm, I'm at KFC now I'm just passing by to get myself a crusher you know this is a filling station this is how our filling stations look like so now I'm going to KFC I need a crusher I finally bought my crusher it's supposed to be Oreo but this looks like Kit Kat I don't know if it's crush or Oreo that I bought so yeah now I can finally drive I love it guys I love it mm. perfect mm. sweet mm, and it's finished oh my gosh mm, oh, Jesus Christ I can have like two or ten of this <laughs> I love them I love crushes I was busy enjoying my crush I couldn't tell you guys that I'm already in Tura so I'm surprised there's no traffic here which is really perfect um, anywho yeah, look at my wig. This wig needs some ironing. You know what I mean? Like ironing and um, what else do you call it? That thing. Blow dry or something. Blow. Is it blow dry or blow? I don't know. So let me show you some parts. This part of Katatura where I'm going to do my nails. There's a possibility of traffic. This is where I'm going, guys. So this is called Hakahana. I mean, if you know you're proud of who you are and your country and so on, these are not things that you should be hiding from, you know, people. You know what I'm saying? Like, we've got to be real, man. We've got to be real. You see, Meme there is selling toilet papers. So you see women here selling. Uh, that's how they make a living, you know. So this side of, of town is basically the busiest, you know. It is the busiest you can get. This is what the real life is. Look at the boy. He is walking to school. Um, there's a police car in front of me, so I'm going to stop filming before they catch me. Um, <laughs> you know. So there's basically a lot of movement this side. Everybody is just on the move. And children just walk like that. You know, in, in suburbs in town, suburbs in town, what happens is that... Um, you lock your kids up in the house like you don't want them to play outside here children are moving around you know they are moving around they are not afraid of anything kids even walk to school and from school so yeah I'm turning here let me just hide my camera before this popos kill me that is Atahana as you can see so I think I've made a vlog before where I came to do my nails here. This is the same place where I am. So yeah, this is how it looks like. Okay, my darlings, I am here. But I, I gotta go inside. I saw some kapana there. I think I want some kapana. So I'm gonna go and get some kapana for myself. Even just for $20. Oh my gosh, I love kapana. So guys, the lady that's supposed to be doing my nails is basically having about two clients. So I'm gonna wait. I've come to buy kapana. I saw some... Ah, I thought this was kapana. Hello. How are you? I'm good. I thought this was kapana. This is chicken feet. And that is gizzards. Eh? You say this is two dollars? Yes. This is one dollar? Yes. Okay. Give me five of this. Five. And then those ones are already ready. I think I'll, I'll get from there. These ones are still cooking, so. 
give me five of this then I'll get um, five also five. yeah and also five for the chakalaka how much is the chakalaka one dollar one dollar uh, I don't want chakalaka though but it's very good huh? okay make five for the chakalaka then <laughs> Yeah, this one is ready for $10, eh? Mm -hmm. Five. Give that, yeah, five for $10. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a way, Meme. So guys, look at my street food. This is actually not kapana. These are gizzards being bright on the open fire. Okay. Anyways, I guess that makes them kapana. You know what I'm saying? Anything that's bright on, on the open fire should be kapana. Look at that. So yummy. Yummy street foods of Namibia. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Right here is chicken feed my guy. Look at that. OMG. It was also bright on the open fire. They have nice things here. I'm always going to single quarters for my street foods, Namibian street food, but I didn't know they had nice, nice things here. I just had to buy. Look at that. Oh my God. This is tasty. Oh. Mm. I haven't eaten chicken feet in a while. It's soft, tender, and tasty. Mm. I'm eating even the bones. Look at this. Mmm. 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 You know, when we're gr growing up, when something is really tasty, you say, you will cut your ne your, your finger, you know? Mm-hmm. Don't mind my wig. When food is here, we don't care about the wig. Look at this yummy, good-looking dessert. Mm-hmm. Mmm. 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 I bought this near Hakahana Clinic. This is where I bought it from. I love it. Let me eat. I'll get back to you later. A few minutes later. I'm the one you ride to. If you don't wanna change, ain't no place to hide. Ain't no one to run to. If you don't wanna change, I can help you out. I can help you out. I can help you out 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 Here we go, here we go again Time is up and I'm calling up my friends Ain't no wonder why, ain't no wonder right to Here we go, here we go again Call me up and you wanna be my friend I'm the one you ride, I'm the one you ride to If you don't wanna change Ain't no place to hide, ain't no one to run to If you don't wanna change I can help you out I can help you out I can't
so guys i'm done with my nails see it's raining i'm gonna go home now it's raining ah, it's raining here are my nails that's how beautiful they look i chose this color i don't know why i like i don't like to um uh, are these bright colors bright colors that are kind of like dull you know they are not too much these are the colors that i like I love the nails. She never disappoints and she's very cheap. I only paid 15 Namibian dollars. That's like how much in, in US dollars because one US dollar is about 16 Namibian dollars or 15 Namibian dollars. So 50 would be how much? It's about two or three. Three US dollars if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, that would be about three or four or even five us dollars so yeah current situation in katutura this is how it's raining it's raining it's raining it's raining Ooh, look at the sky so beautiful i love rain but when it rains all the time i'm the one you ride to if you I need to drive carefully, you know. So I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on your post notification, and every time there's a new video, you'll be notified. Bye bye. Love you guys.